Hey there, this is Deepu. Welcome to Tech Club. In this lockdown, are you getting bored staying at home and doing nothing? Then you can do a small project and create a arcade machine all by yourself. So let's do this. After a few words from our sponsor, GNBD. GNBD is a well-known web hosting company based in Bangladesh. If you are looking for a very fast SSD web hosting service, look no more. Xeon BD web hosting is very affordable and they come with a lot of features. So go and check them out. The link is given in the description below. For the display. I'm going to use a 43 inch basic TV. It's made in China and to run the emulation, I'm going to use a smart TV box, which is Android. It's from Remix. It's made in China. It has two GB of RAM, a quad core processor and 16 GB of internal space. And also I'm going to use a Xbox 360 controller to play the game. I have connected the Android TV box with the TV using a HDMI cable and also using a mini wireless multimedia keyboard which we already have reviewed in our channel. If you haven't seen that video, you can click here. And we also connected the Xbox 360 controller with the TV using a USB extension cable. Now let's set up the emulator. If you want to play PSP games on your TV, you can follow this video. We have already made a video regarding this topic. We are going to set up a emulator called Classic Games Arcade Emulator. Install that and open. It's opening. Play Mustafa. You guys remember Mustafa. Its other name is Kerala Can Dinosaurs. You can play Captain Commando. You can play Arrow Fighters. You can play SNK vs Capcom. You can play Fatal Fury. You can play Final Fight. You can play Metal Slug from 1 to 7. You can play Marvel vs Capcom. You can play many games from this list. To play any of this game, you just have to click on it. Let's say I want to play Arrow Fighters 2. I have to click on it. Now a download. Now I have to watch an ad. Let's skip the ad. Now I'm going to download the game from here. Click download and the download should start. You have to watch another ad because it's totally free. To play these games, you have to see ads. When you start the game, you get an ad. When you exit the game, you get an ad. When you're playing the game, there is no ad. So don't worry about the ads. Let's skip the ad. Now, our ROM is downloading. Now, our download is complete. We have to get back on the list. If we click on the game, it should restart. I'm going to select single player mode. Okay, none of my control is working. So I have to set up. No. Let's go to settings and uh, select input, external controller, define keys, select player one. And now you, you can, you can change the buttons. If you press the button, 
in here dpad up somehow it's not working now it's working dpad up dpad down it's working now dpad down it's working now the setup is complete we're going to go back to our main screen and play the game okay now we are going to play the game The boss is coming. He's here. We have successfully killed the boss. Let's play another game. <laughs> Am I going to die? Am I going to die? Am I really going to die? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's get serious. I'm going to eat that, I'm going to eat that, I'm going to eat that, let me eat that. Oh, I couldn't eat the donut, but it's okay. Let's play a game from the PSP. Open PPSSPP. Let's play Metal Slug.
Oh, shit. <laughs> I just died. Ah. Oh. Let's sit in here. I was looking up at the display from an odd angle. Let's kill the boss as fast as we can. The boss is done. <laughs> okay, let's play another game. Let's choose Goku. Ah, sell. Spirit bomb. Okay, that's very sad. Let's load load game. Now we are playing uh, Prince of Persia. Forgotten Sirens.
Oh, I have to go there. So now you can see, you can play many games on your Android TV box or smart TV using this emulation. If you dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed and click the bell icon. See you in the next one.